Hey everybody, it's Chris Robinson, AKA The Apartment Geek, and this is the first snippet that we're doing called The Apartment Geek Weekly, where I talk real briefly, I know a lot of people have ADD, about um, creative things within the investment real estate market, specifically apartment buildings. And what I was gonna chat about this week uh, that came from a ski trip I was on in Canada a few weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to meet the founder of a big commercial airline. Um, I'm not going to throw names out there, but somebody who owns a bunch of apartments in Western Canada, I think upwards of about a thousand units. And I started talking about what do you do? Do you purchase real estate and hold it? Do you sell it? And are there taxes when you sell? And this is in Canada, so obviously a different country. And I asked this person, I said, do you, do you have 1031, something like a 1031 exchange, which we have in the States, which most people watching this video probably know what that is. It allows us to take equity that's been gained and move it or push it into a larger asset. And we have clients in San Diego, Southern California, who own hundreds, if not thousands, a few of these clients own thousands of units. Literally, it started from like a fourplex or an eight unit property in central San Diego or City Heights. Now, this person said that 1031 does not exist in Canada. So for them to, to accumulate and build that much portfolio and wealth is really, a, it's, it's a lot more difficult. And it just made me want to communicate and I think we need to be aware of how beneficial and advantageous the tax code is in the states on the 1031 tax deferred exchange that allows us to do this and sell a property, take that gain and move it into a larger asset which over time allows us to, to build more equity and more cash flow because we're buying bigger properties. It's scary for a lot of people because you have the, the 45 day time clock to identify property that the IRS gives us from the time we close on the sold property. So one thing my team and I do, and this is called a sales pitch or whatever, you have to work with a broker who's super proactive in doing this. So thinking thinking way ahead of the curve, knowing what the, the goal property is, doing uh, calling a lot of off-market properties or owners to try to get things that are not listed or available publicly. And there's some little tricks that we do with building in some extensions into the, the relinquished property escrow that really help. So um, if anybody's curious about this or wants to run through some hypotheticals, 1031 is so advantageous for US investment real estate owners. And if we take advantage of this and do it in a wise manner, working with, as mentioned, proactive brokers or advisors, it's such a it's such a great tool to, to continue building wealth and cash flow in our business. Thank you for listening and until next time, have an awesome day.